What's the name of this sign? That's aorta, but please don't say aortic regurgitation. Take a close look and you can see it's a vein involved, not an artery. It catches loads of people out and I don't want you to be one of them. Right, beat me to what we're actually seeing in the comments below right now. Let me explain. Looking closer again, we can see the vein is becoming more prominent with each heartbeat, which means blood is being pushed in the wrong way during systole. But why does this happen? Well, the problem is speed with the tricuspid valve, as blood is abnormally going in the wrong direction. Imagine the tricuspid valve as a door and the supporting structures like the annulus fibrosus and the myocardium like a door frame. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Master your OSCEs and VIVAs by remembering more clinical signs and perfect your examination technique. Comment OSCE for some free pages. If the door itself is damaged, perhaps by infective endocarditis, rheumatic changes, or even a congenital abnormality, then that valve won't close properly. On the other hand, if the door frame is compromised, say from right ventricular dilatation, which we call functional dilatation, then the valve can't close correctly either. So you get regurgitation of blood from the right ventricle back into the right atrium during systole. Clinically, you may see prominent V waves in the neck called Lancisi sign, or as we see in this case, unusual venous pulsations elsewhere. The name of this condition then is tricuspid regurgitation. Try to recall any other high yield facts in the comments below, and I've got another patient for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.